What is going on? Getting a lot of no votes. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Ow. Secret agent value. We're gonna keep all the C. I was gonna take one out, but I'll well, we'll keep them in. Two vitamin Z's. This deck looks beautiful all in all. Uh, we haven't really changed the deck list at all, so I should have this here. This looks just about right here. Yep. What's going on, guys? How you doing? Doesn't seem like anyone wants to see me uh, set up the this. The stream is supposed to be smoother with the with the card, but it's gonna take a little time to set up. Doesn't seem like you guys want to. Seems like you guys just want to see some people heroes, which is legit. That is okay. Let's just play. This is gonna be an awesome stream. I love doing this deck. I've really only done this deck one time in the past. It was a while ago, kind of right when Secret Agent came out. So this will be a real exciting, real exciting. You have four K Sparks. You have two Pine Clones. One Teleport. And no Valk. What do you craft? Craft two more Pine Clones. And what's going on, Jenny? What's going on, Johnny? What's going on, everyone? Mockadiles in the house. Want to do the car Garden Warfare too? The Kiwi? Okay. Oh, we'll see. I not feeling so good lately. Huh? Wow, one more bonus attack would be cool. Dang, I kind of would like one more, a third bonus attack in this deck. Would it be worth it to take out? Vitamin Z's bonus attack better than Vitamin Z? Probably is. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Nah, it's all good. How you doing, Jenny? You have 6,000 sparks, what should you get? Get some pine clones. And if not, then go for like teleport Valkyries and tricksters, that kind of thing. I'd say teleports and Valks would be the next choice. If you happen to be really close, if you know, if you have two Dandelion Kings, get a third one. You can look at my top tier my top tier cards though. I have the two videos, one's on the top zombies, one's on the top plants. So those would be great ones to get. Lily. Yeah, I don't think you can craft Lily yet though, can you? All right, let's do this. Uh, we'll make a little intro here for the heck of it. I think we're ready to go, though. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today, once again, we are going to do the Immortitia Zoo deck. This deck is featuring this card right over here, the Secret Agent. Uh, the Secret Agent, it'll pop one of your cards, little minions on the field, back into your hand, and it'll give it plus three, plus three. The great synergies that Secret Agent has, one is with this card over here, the Loudmouth Imp. You can use the Loudmouth to buff something else, it just stays as a 1-1 one -one on the board. You can use Secret Agent on that virtually useless 1-1 one -one minion on the board, put it back into your hand, and then get the whole, you know, thing, the 6-6 six -six or a 4-4, four -four, give us nothing, something else, a 2-2. Uh, really, really effective. The Secret Agent is good on minions that have an active ability when you when they pop out of the Gravestone or when you play them, so that's why it's good with the Loudmouth. It's also amazing with Electrician. Not only do you get that bo bonus attack, but then you pop the 2-2 back into your... Uh, into your hands, and you basically get like a 5-5 five, five do an extra bonus attack, which is kind of like a mini trickster. It also works quite well with the Brain Vendor, which gives you extra brains, and the uh, Leprechaun Imp, which gives you, uh, you know, uh, extra pots of gold in your deck, which is really, really awesome. Makes you draw three cards. So this is a zoo deck, meaning that instead of relying on a lot of late game, you can see this has a really low curve. There's only two cards that cost more than three. Instead, we're going to put lots of little minions, preferably ones that have some grow potential, and just drawing a lot of cards. So the card draw in this deck is going to be uh, really mostly from the pots of gold you get from the Leprechaun Imp and the four copies of Kite Flyer we are running in this deck. A couple of Morticia's powers do draw cards also, which is familiar, and Evaporate also do have some card draw value. 
Uh, it's really nice to have the two copies of Maniacal Laugh in this deck uh, as finishers because usually you end up having a lot of minions on the board, which makes it good to Vitamin Z one of them or Maniacal Laugh one of them. And uh, usually if you can play Maniacal Laugh, you know, in this in this game, you do damage so quickly with this deck. Uh, usually Maniacal Laugh will finish them off. So let's see how it goes. This, uh, we've had a lot of success, success with this deck in the past. This is a really, really fun deck to play. So I hope that you enjoy. And if you don't enjoy, nobody cares. Here we go. Nobody cares. Just for all these cynics out there. No one wants to see me set up my card. Okay, do you know what? I'll do it tonight off stream, and it'll be we're gonna have a hopefully a really really smooth uh, thing tomorrow. The graphic the card was actually not the graphics card, it was a capture card. It was actually supposed to come in yesterday. Uh, for some reason, it did come in today. Uh, I think I guess Amazon delivered it early. Which is pretty awesome. I did order two-day delivery, so it came in early. So it should be ready for tomorrow. Hopefully, um, we're not going to have any woes. If it happens to be the uh, software that we're using over here ends up being glitchy, I will try to set it up uh, real quickly, and I'll show you guys what I'm doing there. Let's get some happy ditty music over here. This is actually called Duddy. This wonderful piece. This marvelous piece. Let's try to get it too. Oh, that works as well. So we can go one... And then um, one and one. Oh, that's good. Go. It's three damage. And Chomsilla really has virtually nothing it takes that except for Bonk Joy. And what do you know? He has Bonk Joy. Not a graphics card, it's a capture card. And that will actually, I think that's the way that Phone Cat streams. And it should make the quality of the actual in game thing that you see much, much better. And prevent all the glitchiness that sometimes happens so I'm really updating uh, upgrading the setup very very nicely if he plays a play that's good with this we'll do it if not I think we'll secret agent this thing it is an Elgato I got an Elgato 60s so thank you to everyone who suggested that there were a bunch of people who um, suggested that I get that this is a very gonna be a very hard card in the water to actually deal with next turn because a 5-4 I mean he has no amphibious minions it's going to have to squash this thing. This is going to be a major problem here. Uh, I think we're going to Secret Agent the Brain Vendor. Make it happen. Well, I'll do it tonight. Let's get super glitchy here. <laughs> Just going to Secret Agent this thing. We can also bats. Which is good. There's that. Kind of no point in this. Is there a point in doing this? Yeah, let's do it here. We'll start working on whatever gets lilied. Uh, looking for a big card here. This is going to be a 5-4 on the board. We'll use the brain better. Just the bigger the better right now. Ooh, that's not bad. In fact, let's do this, because if he doesn't, if he puts a minion in the top lane, he's going to be messed up here. He is going to be messed up here. This is so great. We get all of our brains back. We'll just do a bonus attack and try to do 10, 12 damage theoretically this turn. Get him ready for that impact. We can also do the bonus attack with the bats, which isn't bad. It'll draw us extra cards and stuff. We'll see what he puts here exactly. That's fine. Uh, so we'll definitely do it with this one. Um, I don't think we want to do the two damage. It's just we really would like to get the 10 in, and this will probably mess with the block meter. This does cost three when we replay it, but I think it's still worth it. Bum, 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 bum. 007. 007 bats. Come on, give us something good. Yes! Beauty. What a beauty. All right. We'll do it like this. The Lily's negligible because he can't make a Lily play. If he puts something in heights, he's going to get messed up. He's going to get severely messed up. Destroying that one in the water. Okay. So we'll proc the block, and we basically got this one in the bag. This first one procs the block. His super will be able to use here. Scorch will not save him. Scorch, we're still doing 8 damage. I think that's guaranteed. No, he can heal. We're doing 10 on his... Ah, he's surviving by 1. Oh, well. <laughs> But it's it's basically a done deal. How is he gonna deal with this board? Give this man the Hardy class and a Doom Shroom. <laughs> Whee! In fact, I could have even not done this. To, oh, it's okay. 
<laughs> Still getting ready for impact. 007. It's secret agent. James Bond. 007. Look it up, dude. Just type into Google 007 and you'll discover the truth. Uh, okay. Wait. That was not smart. No, he just he just missed saving him. No, don't put it here. <laughs> he could have actually... If he wouldn't have made a play in the first lane, he probably actually would have ended up blocking this turn. Or just not dying. But now he, he left one of my five attack minions. We just didn't give him opportunity to even use his lily there. I believe that is a third garlic. We're going to make some garlic decks. We are going to make some garlic decks, guys. What's going on, Chair? <laughs> Speedrunner? Are we speedrunning with this deck? We want to know. Give that man a speedrunner, yeah. If you count all the LSD I do, I'm definitely a speedrunner. <laughs> a speedrunner is someone who does a lot of a lot of <laughs> a lot of acid and then gets almost caught by the cops. He's a speedrunner. That's a 940, we've got a speedrunner. Um Bum, bum, one, two, three, four. Yeah, this looks good. Bond. Molecular bond. That was Austin Powers for some reason. I don't know why I got into that. Okay, he needs again a bonk joiner to save himself from the massive amount of damage going on over here. You pulled a sonic boom from Pedal Morphosis. Cool, yeah. That's pretty awesome. We got the going viral from the <laughs> from the mad chemist. We called it. We were like, come on! <laughs> Going viral. And then we had the next day we had, come on, Garg Feast. And we got the BM value. Bill Fry the Science Guy. That's right. That is great. Fry needs more pot. No, I definitely don't need more pot. I've done enough pot in my life. 940 is a grocery market robbery. <laughs> How do you know that, Tryhard? How in the world? <laughs> How in the world would you know that? Fry versus Psy, I'll go like, woo, woo, woo. Fry versus Psy, I, I, Psy, I got it. I think that's a great idea. I don't care, I'll prevent the five damage. Shamsil then Green Shadow. Why don't people use Grass Knuckles or Captain Combustible? Yeah, well, variety. Maybe they don't own them. You're right, Grass Knuckles and Captain Combustible are better than those two. I'm not a big fan of Shamsilla. I know, Jenny, I know, it's a joke. It's a joke. Hey. Evaporation. Just a joke. Just a joke. Okay, looks like, looks like, gonna, gonna get him right now. It's nice to play this so we can Secret Agent and Vitamin Z next turn. Yeah, I'll go with this. Fry versus Zach Scott. Yes, let's set it up, guys. I, I used to be really into that when I was like, not a major streamer. The heck? The heck? Okay, let's not let him get out. Problem is, we don't really have a play for next turn now. Uh, we wouldn't anyway. We'll just vitamin Z this thing. I would really like to... Man, I could really use a 3 drop right now. Die, Lily. Alright, we stabilize against the Lily. He has a card advantage for some reason, but yes! That's good. That is good. Major streamer? <laughs> oh, did I say when I wasn't? Well, right when I started off, I was like, oh, I have to play Zach Scott. That'll make me famous. But no, it's not the way it goes. Um, the heck? Why did he Snapdragon play? Uh, this is better. I wish this would have at least ended up in lane two. That was... Bad RNG. Wow. Boom. Come on, man. Ah, oh, taking this off the board wouldn't be good there. Bum 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 bum. I could have actually done it the other way around. Yeah, I should have. Oh well. Well, that's getting self buffed. Zack Scott really doesn't do this game anymore. Thanks, Lord of Booze. Yes, I did get a haircut. Thanks for noticing. That was since last stream. I did get a haircut, so you can notice. We're a little neater here. Looking pretty good. 
I'm getting bald, so we're going for the comb over route. I know that word doesn't sound very cool, but that's the way it goes. Bounce that, that's okay. Uh, we can do this in Maniacal next turn, which is pretty awesome. Freaking awesome. Freaking Z. Freaking Z. Electrician. We c I think Electrician Vitamin Z this turn is better. Yep. So we'll either kill the Snapdragon or protect the 6-3. The six, the six, we're going to be able to buff something anyway. Probably killing a Snapdragon is better just to get more minions in the field. And we'll buff this one, perhaps. He already used his bounce, which he could really use a bounce on the 6-3 right here. Will I sh ever shave my head? I might shave my head if I get start getting... If this, this whole... Let's say I became bald and this whole portion of my head, I would probably shave it completely. It's probably the way it would go. You guys. Alright, let's do this. This will proc the block. This will hit. Oh no, does this have 5 health? Ooh, not a good lane. Uh, I should have maybe set them up like... Uh, yeah, I should have set them up this like... Right now, Super takes this out, which would be really bad. A total waste of vitamin Z. If you ask me. No, he didn't get it. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yes! Wow, the maniacal laugh is good. I'll take it. Take it, man. Wow, we have three targets for a maniacal lap here, which is insanity. Probably going one. We'll see what happens, though. Secret agent on a swabby. How how did what? How oh, that's a nice play. That's a pretty good play. That's all right, though. We don't really need to maniacal here. And we make two really good trades. I uh, could really use a one or a two right now. Even just a chimney sweep, another, you know, pot dude. You, uh, you know, one of these guys. Uh, it's not good because we can't do the maniacal. I would love to do it. Should I forget about the maniacal this turn? And do it next turn? I think I will. It's probably better to make a double player. There's too much could go wrong. I don't know can't really do damage you know green shadow doesn't really do damage but if he makes a really you know a really super play it's so hard to anticipate what he could do with eight right now uh didn't want even if he you know for great zucchinis next turn we can if he great zucchinis i'll just maniacal laugh and we'll still have like a six six frenzy on the board with everything else so oh this was a what this was electrician no i enough. What makes Nightcap so good if he has no hard removal? So, um, he doesn't, right, he is lacking in removal. He doesn't have hard removal. He does have bouncing, which if you really want to put, you know, Jumping Bean and Spring Bean aren't bad, and they do count as hard removal. Uh, they bounce something back into their hands. So in terms of the board, it's definitely hard removal. What is that piece of garbage? I think we'll evaporate this next turn. This is Kite Flyer. There's no need to buff this up. What are we gonna buff up? Let's keep this alive. Nice to keep this big mama guy alive here. We'll proc the block and then just finish him off with something like this next turn. We can also evaporate this. A one drop again would be good because then we can one drop evaporate maniacal. And yeah, or that. That's just as good as a one drop. This is actually better because this is free. It's free! Um, th this We're going to have a much bigger audience when I start doing like Grand Theft Auto or something like that. It's just the way it goes. Just more people watch that. And plus people have to... This game... I really like the crowd in this game, but you have to really, you kind of have to watch it in order to, in order to like it. <laughs> we can actually maniacal laugh bonus attack here if we want, which is ridiculous. <laughs> Evaporate, maniacal laugh bonus, we can do everything here. Come on, man. Evaporate, maniacal laugh bonus attack, looks good. In fact, if we're going to maniacal this one, this isn't even fault, it's lethal anyway. But I'm going to keep doing, no! Brain Nana just rocked our minds. Come on, man. The anti trick synergy is real. He's really playing hard against that, uh, against that Maniacal F. He must be, this is a level 50 guy. He must be playing around the Maniacal F. I mean, he hit us with two really hard Brain Nanas. I guess we left like nine brains there, so pretty good Brain Nana. 
Ugh. All right, just need again that one drop or another one of those brain binders. There's a pot. Uh, this still should do it. Maniacal bonus attack right here. Imagine he had one more brain Anna. He could really pull off the win if he had one more brain Anna. That's all he needs. Give that man a brain Anna. Even Great Zucchini would not save him here. He can still maniacal bonus attack in this lane and win instantly. Third brain Anna for the win. For basically the win. Bouncing that. Okay. We can evaporate this one, which will actually save us from... Will probably make us win the game, the fact we can evaporate this. If he hit, if he doesn't, snake grass, right in the snake grass. Okay, yeah, we gotta block this. So we always start with you. This will not trigger since it dies on the shot. I explained how that works the other day. Since it dies, anyway. Time for some pot. Time for the pot BM. Let's not do uh, this BM. That won't be good. Wee. And that is the game, folks! Ow! The 6 damage, the 6-6. Six, six. Stupid loudmouth for the win! Maniacal bonus attack. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Got him. Third banana. And just like that, we are 2 and 0. The clutch is real. This deck, this deck, you just... We got the pot there, too. We haven't really even been drawing that many cards. So we've been really doing a lot of, like, really aggressive wins with this deck. This deck is a zoo deck, but it's almost an aggro. Typically, zoo decks, you end up being kind of more control, and you end up just out drawing them, and that's how the game goes. But, I don't know. This this deck is, I think, the way this... I think the way this game is with the lanes and stuff, this turns out to really be an aggressive deck. They just can't deal with all the minions unless they're running like sour grapes and snapdragon i guess that guy that guy definitely had some snapdragon value which is a really good card against this deck we're gonna have a lot of good ways of dealing with him spread the word fry loves his pot what's going on kiwi Sorry for asking again, but would secret agent and teleport be viable it could be i happen to not do it in this deck because the Secret Agent in this deck, and in general, the two good card, best cards for Secret Agent are the um, Loudmouth and the Electrician. Those are the real, real value ones, because they end up being huge minions, especially the Electrician. They're, it's good on the, on the Brain Vendor and on the Leprechaun, but not quite as good. Um, so that is why I really opt to um, not put Teleport in this deck, because... If you don't want to be teleporting in gravestones, you want to just be playing them and get the value right away. Typically. One, two, three. I'm going to pass on this one. Ugh, do I keep this card? You know what? He has too much small removal. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, well, <laughs> vitamin Z is probably better than bonus deck there. Perfectly balanced matchmaking. Is this rank five? No, not rank five. I hope he just quits here. I have no will to actually beat this guy. Perfectly balanced matchmaking. Thank you. I'm not going to count that. I wish I had conceded. Maybe I'll just concede whenever I see the rank. If rank 5... It depends what. If he's rank 10, I guess I'll at least play it through. But I think if he's rank 5, I'll just concede. For the sake of the game. For the sake of this guy getting a star. Uh, rank 5 having removal it happens to be Solar Flare's powers. Um, definitely our early game removal, most of them, plus, um, Solar Flare, uh, even rank 5 guys, you know, they're probably going to be running for Berry Blast, that's a, they don't have any other cards to not run for Berry Blast. Oh, they don't lose stars, oh, that's good. That's nice. I like to concede to little guys. What do you mean by that, Kiwi? The Illuminati is here, and it's real, you guys. Looking for that one. Uh, looking for that one. 
It's really nice starting with a one. We have plenty in this deck, but we did not get it. Come on, super. Yes. Come on, blooming heart. Would be good. Sunflower would be crazily amazing. Yeah. You don't can see they disconnect themselves. Anyway, so that was super. We'll we'll play the you know. We'll play this dude. Hopefully we'll get the value here. Can you do a control grass knuckles deck? I made it and went five and no. Oh. I, I, I have a lot of control oh control grass knuckles. I actually did that the other day. Um, I played some control grass knuckles. It was okay. I'm gonna try it again, so stay tuned. We'll do that maybe again sometime this week. I have some new ideas in terms of what to put in that deck. Draw cards or get on the board? Oh, let's start drawing. This could have actually gone on heights, but who cares. Why do people super face? They want to get the extra sun already. I typically don't super face. It's a waste of a card usually. Better to get a whole card than getting extra sun earlier. Probably. Ooh. We got some value here. Let's just get on this board. Let's just get on this board. Is he running grapes? That would stink. If he's running grapes. And if he removes something, we can still do the super. If he plays grapes, I guess. <laughs> Come on, no grapes. We can buff whatever we want here. Might just even buff the kite flyer. Pretty cool. Even four grapes. Thanks a lot. And uh, similar to grapes. Kill that. I think we go face here, and getting this into 3-5 range I think is quite good. So, plus we can use super on this next turn to take it out. Take the shot! So 3-5. He almost has to squash this thing. We can also buff this guy. 3-2. It's not bad. Not a bad play. This will become a 4-4. Four, four. Frenzy, the whole works. If not, this just is a 2 2 and we'll trade if we need to buff something else. Cherry Bomb, ouch. And buff this up. This way on the block, this thing doesn't die. You actually can't kill this at all, so. Uh, this should be able to draw us yet another card. No! It rolled a 1. So lucky. So lucky. Give that man some luck. He uses the Scorch on just a 5-3. Okay. <laughs> Against this deck, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. There's that. I don't think we go for Maniacal here. Could rocket something, theoretically. Wait. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. I should have done this in Maniacal next turn. Well, actually, I should have actually waited on this. I should have done uh, these two. Uh, okay. Let's see what he plays. I could go super here. I kind of would rather do super maniacal. No. Ouch. Ouch. I think we're going to super maniacal next turn. Be able to break through here, do a bunch of damage. I hope this just hits the 1-1. One, one. Come on, please do that. No, it went face. No. Oh, oh, yeah. really not good. Thank you so much, Mockadile. I'm donating for the get this man an Xbox fun. <laughs> Got it. Do it for the stream. Do it for the stream. All right, guys. Do you know what? If we raise three hundred dollars for the whatever it is uh, for the get three hundred fifty dollars for the give this man an Xbox fun, then I will buy an Xbox if people want to sponsor it. I'm not interested in doing that, but if you guys want. I'll do it. So nice to be able to maniacal this thing. No, yes. Oh, okay. The value play. Look at this value here. The maniacal. This is going to draw us a card and, and kill this thing and break through. I mean, just amazing. Immortitious superpower or summoning with, with maniacal laugh. Great play. He's hitting us for five. We're hitting for seven and drawing a card here on one shot. And rolled that too. We're doing real, real well here. 
extremely well. And we can just do all this. We can rock it. I want to reserve the right to rock it here. So we're going to do it like this. Well, these two is probably better than the one. Yeah, okay. So now we can rock it, rain, and, and, and pot. So good. Straight zombie, that's okay. The acid rain is still a thing. Hammering that. Can't rock it. Let's see what's in the box. I might use a bonus attack if we get it. Acid rain, acid rain. Give that man some acid. So, really, all of his powers take this out. Shrooms will do it. Weed whack will do it. Those are the two he has left. So, he's surviving, but barely. Now, if we roll a a three here, we could block in summoning. Evaporate. Um. Yeah, let's just do it. Good to get a card. Berry Blast wins. Berry Blast wins for our opponent. You're broke. Oh. I would like to still reserve the right to rock it. Oh yeah. This Let's is for the like give this man a PC fund <laughs> because consoles are for peasants. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zooks man. Really appreciate it. It's cornucopia. We win. I'm so happy I saved this rocket. I think we win. Yep, that's lethal. <laughs> very, very, very lethal. <laughs> he knows it too. We don't need to do anything here. Whee! Let's do it the fancy way. We'll do it the BM value way. Give this man some buffs. Die! We should have secret agent in something for the lose. That would be good. See you later, Cornucopia. That was his play. Not a good play. And this is, we, we would have had lethal even if we would have done nothing. The secret... The uh, energy drink zombie in lane 2 would have got him, so... Is that 3-0 or 4-0? We beat a Chompzilla. Then we beat a... Uh, a green shadow. Then we had that weird guy conceding. Yeah, this was the third guy. Okay. Three wins. Cornucopia. Another instance where walnut bowling is better than cornucopia. Something like that. Not really. Pine clone from corn would have saved him. Uh, no, because then we would have buffed up the. Uh, we we still had it had the loudmouth in the grave, so we would have buffed up in lane one, and we would have won. So strike through value. <laughs> Did Fry say <laughs> he's gonna buy an Xbox? Taking things in context. Um, we, we could use a two or another one here. Which is the worst? Well, we're gonna want to do these two. Um, I think this is better. Well, bigger minions or bonus attacks? I think since we have this, maybe bonus attacks is better. This is so good. Okay. Summoning. Uh, let's start off with instead, because he might be, you know, tempted to just super this turn. Let's start well off with summoning, and then we'll go with this one. Let's see what we get from the summoning box. If people want to die, I just spent all my all all of my money, everything I own. I spent basically all the money I've made on YouTube to date on a um on a, on a PC just now. So if you guys really want to see Xbox. <laughs> There's an imp, that's fine. The trade is real. We we could secret agent this, even though it's really nice to be able to do on this one, but we can secret agent this if we need to. Worst case scenario, this really just absorbs absorbs a berry blast. Min seven made another strong song for the stream. What is this? Okay, I know you usually play music at the end of the stream, but would you please play this one you made? Sure, I'll 
I'll open this in a tab right now. Remind me again at the end of the stream, okay? Uh, let's... No. Anyway, that's what it's going to sound like. Sorry that was so loud. Man, that absorbed the buried blast, which is fine. I don't know if I want to play all these yet. Do I want to play this? Nah, we're going to do it next turn. Uh, wait. Oh, uh, well. Oh, fine. Die. All right. We are good to go here. I would really like to secret agent the electrician. That's really the one to do it. Especially against this hero. No grave busters. No nothing. Uh, vitamin Z is not reliable here. So let's go with this one. And we can secret agent this one still. Might have a little something to deal with this electrician. No way, he used more spore. No, he doesn't. So he's another berry blast. <laughs> Alstroni, you're so nice. Sorry about that. Yeah, it it gets too loud. I shouldn't have even opened that. I don't know, I'm stupid, whatever. I should have just said send it to me at the end of the stream. My bad, I apologize. Let's get this one. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It makes a little 007 sound effects. I'll turn up one one notch. Just the right now the sound runs through this. I'm hopefully gonna be able to get the sound to run through the computer too. That might be a little bit more advanced setup, but I'm just gonna. Stream's running really well today actually. Oh, let's just do it like this. Wasn't that loud? Yeah, it wasn't super super loud. All right, so the hope is we can do five damage on the bonus attack, proc the block, and then do another five. That would be amazing. Get him. So this is like a, a mini trickster in a gravestone. No! No! Come on, man. Ugh. You're annoying. You really blocked the five damage. Pathetic. Well, we're still doing another five. Uh, I don't think we go for Maniacal here. I think we go for this and vitamin Z we'll go for the maniacal like he could cherry bomb so he can't really go for the maniacal right now we'll go for the maniacal when we have like guaranteed a minion to stay on the board basically despite all the cherry bombs and kernel corns and whatever else this guy could have I did get the capture card it's in which is really exciting really exciting let's go face I could rocket that this is better protects this for next turn gives us a good um, probably a good minion to just be able to um you know, he can't cherry bomb this down now, so this is a good minion to be able to maniacal. Or if he squashes this one, we'll just maniacal this one. Proc the block. Yes! Maniacal should basically almost win here. I don't think he can... We'd have to have Berry Blast squash exactly in order to deal with these. He will be making, like, eight sun this turn. Oh, he might come in with Colonel Corn. That is not good. I can't rely on him. Man, Loudmouth would be good right now. Oh, I can't afford this. Colonel Corn is too deadly. We'll do this later in case he Colonel Corns here, in which case we'll just, we'll actually just Rocket Rocket if he Colonel Corns here, which is not bad. We do have the, the, the Maniacal Lab for the win this turn. Squash, and... Berry Blast? Yes, <laughs> he had it exactly. Okay. Okay, you guys. Um, let's do the Rocket Rocket. Do the rocket, rocket, bad boy. I like my block meter to wait. Look, do I actually? Maybe I really want him to do this. Acid rain would be good. Really, everything would be good. Anyway. Nailed it. This is an extremely, extremely good play. Wait, eight. No, we can't actually. Oops. Uh, let's go for Maniacal. I'll do this in Maniacal next turn. Oops. Snipe? Why do you guys think I'm being sniped? No. Oh. You know what? Just getting Super or what's it called would be amazing here. Just getting like summoning. Did I use summoning already? Oh, I did use summoning. Getting Super would just be like 
basically guaranteed lethal here. Because we can just summoning a maniacal now. Summoning maniacal, I'll take it. That's like guaranteed lethal, dudes. Basically. Really, this and maniacal is the same thing. This is just we can do this in lane two. We're, we're good to go. Cornucopia, no one cares. It's still guaranteed lethal in your face. Oh, the 10 damage one. Guaranteed lethal. Yes. What a combo. What a combo. I really had a different deck where I would do beam me up and maniacal, which is pretty awesome. This is, of course, is better, though. Oh, let's do secret agent. Lethal. Four and zero, but not before we draw a card. The BM drawing a card value. I'll take it. No brain nana. Oh, if he would have gotten brain nana there. If he would have gotten brain nana, and he would have won there too. Ah, oh, that would have been horrible. Nice call. Nice call, tryhard. Stream is doing really well today. I'm surprised. This is like the best performance yet, basically. That's only my fourth win. What, we beat the two Megro Heroes and then just two Solar Flares? Haven't beat anyone else yet? I don't know, it just seems like we're winning faster, but anyway. Citron! That's a tough matchup. Well, could have Spartacus and Brainana. Mm, Brainana's not a full. Well, it's good against this deck. It's not as good as typical, you know, Teleport Trickster decks. Alright. One. I don't think I keep both of these. It's not terrible. This is kind of good. It doesn't have a lot of field clear. Uh, let's get maybe something a little better in this. A one or a two. Hmm, that's fine. The rocket will probably come in handy. So, basically needs potato mine or, or I guess Spirus would take this out too. Hey Fry, what's up? <laughs> you mean what's up? Yes, what's up? Oh, wow, Bean. That's not good. I don't know if we can out outrace a turn one Bean deck. We really need that, that Snorkel right now. We're just running with two of them. Oh, don't have any field clear. Have no way of dealing with except for the two Snorkels in this deck. No! He got two Admiral Navy Beans in his starting two plays. This is not going well, you guys. The race is on. The race is real. We're not blocking well. I guess neither is he. The race is real, you guys. Bring on the race. Man. Double Admiral. You know, there's some decks that just like are crazy heroes that we just at least be able to firework something, but not this deck. We can evaporate this. Still not doing that bad. We're, we're ahead. He's going to need a lot of beans in order to really be able to deal with this here. We can actually, um, Electrician and Secret Agent. Or we can Electrician and... There's a nut. Electrician and... Uh... Man, if I got a Snorkel right here. No. Let's do it like this. We might Evaporate, might Secret Agent. Probably, probably Evaporate. Well, if we do the bonus deck here, well, let's see what happens. You're not. Uh, let's do it like this. That way we can take this one out. Uh, let's do it like that. We can do these two next turn. There's an imp. We'll not take orders from an imp. Time to go face. Let's not do that yet. We can do these two and secret agent here. And this electrician coming out of the gravestone might be really good. If you might have a grave buster, we'll see what happens here. What is this deck? This is a uh, Immortitia Zoo deck, and it's quite quite good. But we are we're getting ready. What's his deck? You mean? 
Uh, and protect, that's fine. Uh, so this is for sure the best one. The question is, do we secret agent this? The answer is no. We cannot afford to take three more damage here. Well, it'll prevent four, but now we can't afford to take it. Plus, the next bean he plays will get the double block on it. Let, let's just do this damage when we can. Man, we got th all three of our rockets in our hand, which is not good. He's, he's down to two health here. Probably. No, he blocked. That's okay. Getting wrecked. What? <laughs> Really? Transmogrifying our one drop turns into a paparazzi. Who knows? Who knows if this paparazzi is going to save us? I hope he puts a rocketable minion here. We might just use the secret agents just to get this paparazzi value. Well, let's see what happens here. He's going to need a two. Well, if he gets two beans, he'll probably, you know, the first, the, we always block the beans simultaneously. So if he has two beans, he wins. Or just the bean counter, of course. Here's the first bean. We always block both of these. There's bats. Batty batty. Might as well. He has one more bean. For the win. Otherwise he's messed up. Otherwise we probably win here. I'm not going to be able to clog all of these lanes. He's thinking an awful long time here. No! That's lethal! That is lethal! <laughs> yes! Not enough beans, boy! Not enough beans! <laughs> we can secret agent this for BM, who cares? Bum, 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 bum. Don't mess and we get this finally. <laughs> we get it at the end of the game. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Not enough beans! Give that man more beans! Way more beans! <laughs> he was running Mirnod and beans in the same deck. The anti-synergy is real. Come on, man. Swabby definitely saved me. Haha! <laughs> was that really a Swabby there? <laughs> it wasn't a regular imp, it was a Swabby. We've been saved by Swabby once again. It was an imp, it wasn't a Swabby? Oh, oh well. He looks like Swabby. He's Swabby's, he's Swabby's stupid little brother. He's Swabby's cousin. He's just the regular one. He's not smart enough to know how to swim, just like Swabby. He's just a little imp who can't swim. Is that offensive to people who can't swim? Come on, guys. Uh. 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 Uh, huh? uh, not a good hand. I always want to start with a one in this deck, but oh, we start with a bad frame. Piece of garbage. Well, might be good against this hero. The swabbies are real. No scorch. It's pretty safe putting this on the ground. Put it on heights anyway to play around exactly cabbage bolt. You're not offended. That's good, that fancy. This stream is for people with senses of humor only. And if you don't have a sense of humor, you're probably going to be offended by everything I say. Come on! Face! Yes! It's Chompzilla. Oh, Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Um, this one triggers first. Uh, the value is not real. That's fine. Just makes it more likely to. Uh, let's see. Gross room. You're going. We die. Freaking shroom. Go to lane one. Yes. Wow, we're getting some good rolls on these on these uh, energy drinks. I just remember the last time I did this deck, every energy energy drink zombie went wrong. So right now they seem to all be going right. Um, we're gonna do this and possibly secret agent. Um, secret agent this one, and we'll be able to evaporate this next turn, which is all good. What decks are Swabby good in? No, it's no decks. Bong Choi, that's fine. This still survives. Freaking Z. Wee. 
All right, let's do this. Bum 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 bum. Ba da ba da da. Boom 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 boom. So doing the bonus attack with this with this energy drink zombie might be just as good. We'll see what happens here. It's gonna be the huge electrician, the massive trickster like. <laughs> You know, in, in gaming, especially in fighting games, there's, like, godlike, so this is the trickster-like electrician. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it like this. The evaporate is real. The evaporate is real. Probably go face with this. I don't even want to kill this, I just want to evaporate it. I think we're going to go face with the energy drink zombie. What decks are Swabby good at none? Yeah, Venus Flychat. It's not super good. So, let's go face. Let's evaporate this one. Lane, uh, doesn't matter. Yeah, that was a good one. Whew! Wow, perfect rolls from this card. It takes out this. This would trade with this one anyway, so. Really nice taking out the Power Flower there. Do we Secret Agent? Bum, bum, bum. Now I gotta kill the power flower. We'll secret agent this electrician or something. Or something. Block. Super. Uh, no. We'll do this with Maniacal for the win. That'll be like guaranteed win like later. Do it. Double electrician there for 10 damage. That's an idea. Three and three. Let's let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Do it. <laughs> Might squash this thing. We'll see what happens here. Uh, probably secret agent the electrician here. No, that's lethal. Oh uh, he, no, he's gonna heal. Ah, uh, it's so close. Well, this is still the play. Very close. Wait. I don't want to get hit by four here. Bats doesn't help, right? I'm gonna bats maniacal next turn for the win. Yeah. He's gonna heal for two, so we're gonna be a little off there. Man, gotta watch out for Espresso Fiesta, though. I don't think we do Bats Maniacal, because then we lose to, to like, Espresso. Oh, plant food, maybe. Oh. Uh, man. Well, we can do this in vitamin Z. Uh, that's probably worth it. 6-6. Six, 3-3, six, three, three, no. We can just bats. It's not good to, to put all of our money. Just in case he... Well... Uh, that's tough. Squashing that. And this should be lethal here. Yeah. Yes, it is. Bum 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 bum. Wee! Super! Get back in the hand! Bum bum bum! Do it again! Bum bum bum! Everyone get back in the hand! Get back in the hand for the win! <laughs> The BM is real. We're six and zero oh here. Come on, guys. Six and zero. Ow. With the Importitious Zoo deck. <laughs> How great is this deck? How great is this deck? Gotta love it. <laughs> the secret agent value. <laughs> the secret agent and the electrician really did the bulk of the damage that came, so. Even the bats are secret agent. We got some secret agents and they got some pet bats. It's like Batman, 
secret agent, Batman. Bat zombie, secret agent. Dr. Pepper, I'm the top fire chili peppers. Oh, yes, give that man some better peppers. How many peppers are in the game? I don't know, it's just Dr. Pepper. Oh, I guess there's chili pepper. I don't even think they are a pepper plant. I think they're, maybe they are a pepper plant. Bum, bum, bum. I'm doing PV, um, I'll do PVP and like, when I get to 10 wins, I'll do PVP. That's the real answer. So, it took us an hour to, it took us about an hour to do six wins. So, probably in another, you know, 40, 45 minutes, something like that. All right, gotta get off fast against this guy. Let's get some variety. Ugh, I'd love one more one. I think this is better earlier. Ugh, it's not good. All right, that's fine. I know no espresso. I was playing around. I don't know what I was playing around. I'm not even sure anymore. Sometimes I don't even know what to think. So it can bats and I don't know. We'll see what happens here. See, we well, might secret agent this. Really, it's nice to secret agent this one. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we have to get off fast. We're gonna get off fast. Just boom, right in his face. We're gonna explode this guy's face. Ha! <laughs> Pot top deck. Ho ho ho! I'll take it. The top deck pot. Shuffle into your deck. No one cares. Yeah, we're, we're not doing that. We're doing this play. Ba -ba -ba and this one. <laughs> the value. The card draw value is real. Get that man out of there. So we'll probably just like imp. <laughs> Drawing so many cards. We'll draw another one here. The card draw is so important because of our low curve. But we're going to go with this. It might shamrock it, in which case bonus attack is not that great. Well, let's just let's just get on the board real hard and we'll pot here as well. I could have really gone with the well, probably was actually better to go with the um, energy drink zombie there. Pot doing so much damage. This will draw another card. <laughs> yes, just so much damage. Oh, the damage is real. Uh, electrician in this one. There's a few plays there. We could have gone secret agent bonus attack. Not secret agent, uh, energy drink bonus attack. Man, we have like an unlimited amount of funds right now. The heal is real. Let's just go. Well, I don't know. It's probably not going to make end up end up making a, a big difference in terms of the damage. It might. I think let's do it like this. Keeping ourselves on the board here. Probably the second one gets blocked anyway. No, first one gets blocked. <laughs> just lost five damage. Well, that's okay. We'll do some bonus attacks here. Maniacal is a force to be reckoned with. Secret agenting that electrician is not too bad either. Ooh, he's gonna kill the electrician. No, he's gonna kill the wrong one. Play around secret agent, man. It's nice having the two one in the water too. It's a lot of damage. So much damage. One, two, and one, I think. Or three and well, let's do it like this. Two and one. Well, yeah. Backpedaling backpedal value is real. Dang. Vitamin Z would be a great pickup here. Got three draws to get it. Rocket! Yes! Yes! Top Deck Madness! That's the other one. Got him. Here we go. <laughs> Got the Top Deck on the pot. 
the backpedaling is real and you know wall knight is like the best hero ever to to make backpedal so we're gonna go for the for the um <laughs> we're gonna go for the super here he might block and get super it's about a 50 50 chance get not super get walnut he didn't use nut signal yet right watch him just get what nut signal considering it so it's gonna be um this one the brain vendor the reason another synergy in this deck brain vendor besides for a very secret agentable target um you can play the same you can play a minion the same turn that you maniacal laugh on turn six it's just nice to be able to get one more minion now with this board i guess super anyway this board doesn't make that much of a difference uh we're gonna maybe hold off on the we're gonna hold off on the value for next turn here that is okay. That's okay. Ba -ba -da -da, boom, boom, boom. It's actually easier for him to destroy big things than small things. I'm gonna just let this die. Do we secret agent? Well, we might. Have, this one doesn't do anything here, so we might as well secret agent it. Yep. Ba -ba. Wow. We could bonus attack. Uh, that'd probably be better for next turn. <laughs> so good. We could go for Maniacal. He might destroy something and, uh. Well, this is better since we're just gonna two and two anyway. So this is the five five electrician we have in here. It is a five five, right? Yeah. It's gonna be difficult for him to win here. <laughs> very, very difficult. Turn seven and just we're rocking this guy. Squash. And Grave Buster. No! Uh Bonus attack usually wins here. Let's go for it. Uh, if he rolls a three, roll a two, we usually win. Come on. If not, we'll, we'll get him with the, with the Maniacal next turn. Yeah, that's it. The backpedaling is real. It's just Wall, Wall Knight really doesn't have a lot of good ways, especially against a deck like this that we're not really running minions, a lot of minions with over four attack really really hard for him to um for him to get you know play from behind especially when we're just swarming you know one cost two attack minions and stuff add a lid type the whole thing out since you type this out i'll try to read it is this a good deck for citron a garlic two celeries four admirals a potato mine so again the first thing i would see is try to do as much as you can three or four of each card you can notice that you know unless it's like maniacal have some weird card like that then maybe two is right but uh, it seems like you're running a lot of one and two of something. I don't know. Maybe you have a limited thing. Garden Gloves, not a great card. Juggernauts. Electric Reed's not a good card. Steel Magnolia's okay. Mayflower's good. Health Nuts, fine. Paracup's good. Cattail. Bean Counter is okay if you're running beans. Four Navy Beans is fine. Guacodile. Snake Grass. Looks like you're running a lot of Amphibious Minions, but still the Electric Reed is not worth it. It's better just to run even just like Sea Shroom. Smackadamias. Doom Shroom. Tough beats, pop and poppies, brain nana. So it seems like a very makeshift, makeshift um, amphibious deck. Obviously, if you had more Mayflowers and stuff like that, I think there's. If you're really trying to make a, a budget deck, though, Adelid, I I think there's actually a lot better decks for you in the game. So uh, look at my look at my my budget decks I made on YouTube. They're all going to be kind of better than these these decks, and they're really just all rare and lower. Uh, so you can check that out on YouTube. The Tenth Grass Knuckles one, the Brainstorm one. If you have those heroes. Uh, those would be really awesome. We're, since we have one, two, three, this is actually a pretty good play. We are going to try to get off fast against Rhodes, even though that's kind of against the rules. Um, it is against the rules, because we don't want to get snow dropped, but that's the way that goes. We'll save Super for when we have a really good shot out of it. Yeah, pictures are better. Upload it, you know, take a screenshot, upload it to Imgur, and there's Weed Whack out of his hand, so... This is not only a one, our one drop. That's not even our superpower that we got. Superpowers are worth more than just your regular one drops. Uh, but we also got the two pots in our deck, so that was extremely efficient. Um, this is this is a good play. He's gonna have a this row is gonna have a hard time dealing with this thing, and we're gonna be able to to brain again brain vendor vitamin Z. Oh, the value. 
Brain Vendor Vitamin Z is a play. Uh, we might not do that because this thing might just get hammered and we're not we're gonna lose the play. So if we get another three drop, we'll play it. Oof. We can't deal with both of these, so let's brain vendor vitamin Z looks pretty good. Brain vendor, brain vendor, vitamin Z. And we can afford usually in most decks, brain vendor, it just it takes a whole card out of your hand, which is only a two one, which is not good, but in this deck with all the card draw, we can definitely afford it. Fry, aren't your budget decks a bit outdated in the meta note? Not at all. The Tempo Grass Knuckles one is not outdated at all. And, you know, again, the, in the, the Tempo Grass Knuckles, that's fine. Again, it's not going to be like top, top tier deck, but it'll it'll definitely get the job done. This is a great play. Uh, very smart of him hammering the one on the on the field, because this could actually get lawnmowered theoretically if he has that in his deck. We just need some cards right now. Kite Flyer would be an amazing pickup. No such luck. You like this with this deck, you are 7 0. I'll take it. If he puts like Snapdragon here, we'll we'll get it, we'll hit it with our with our super. Let's let's save this for the finish. This might be a real turn seven play. Yes, seven and zero. This deck, this deck is pretty amazing. Um, yep. setting up the Maniacal for next turn. <laughs> Just <laughs> get him ready for that impact. We'll just do a bonus deck that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which one. We did it for the five. Just for the heck. Just for kicks. You thought you were dreaming. Go to five. That's fine. Gonna go to five right now. Let's do this, and we'll Maniacal. We're just gonna Maniacal next turn, so we might as well get the extra value here. This actually might even cycle all the way through our opponent's block meter. There's no Scorch, so it's not really much risk involved here. Oh, yeah, yeah. We could really use some cards, though. But you know what? We're doing just fine. Maniacal value. Probably Maniacal the, the bats, I guess. <laughs> now, wow, we're gonna draw a card on the Maniacal here. Dang. <laughs> he's, he's drawing cards too. Uh, proc the block. Oh wait. Uh, okay. Let's. We're gonna have to risk it. Hopefully our opponent does not get transmogrify. That would not be good. I already used the godify, so it's just freeze. Uh, and well, we whack was used. It's a 50-50 actually. Mog would be so good. Freeze would be a good play here, but not as good. Please, yes, yes gotta do that play but this is still a force of nature a force to be reckoned with this might get squashed keep the pressure secret agent uh, haha secret agent goat it's perfect we'll, we'll do it on this one uh no arg well it still draws a card healing i wish we had a bonus attack bonus attack would be amazing here He's out of hard removal. We really gotta do this. This is gonna draw us a card, which is worth it, so. Wow. This will give us more pots in our deck as well. Draw the card. What's going on? Pella Dor Tease and more card draw. Here we go. We have a lot of pot in our deck, and we're gonna just keep on drawing here. Give this man some pot. And we do have a rocket availability here. So again, I don't think he has any any hard removal. Yeah, he's he's out. Very very out. These are gonna be a little bit of an annoyance, but nothing major. And yeah, <laughs> the great trades. This is fine. This you know, this is just still draw cards. Eh, this won't be it will be a little annoying. We're really at enough health that this, this is not much of a factor. Come on, Maniacal. Maniacal would have been the best pick up there. Uh, right now, just a Maniacal or, or just a Pot. Yes. <laughs> Actually, Pot's the best one. So, let's see if we can get one of our Maniacal laughs here. That's fine. That's okay. That looks very, very harsh, but essentially it's not. What's in the box? Come on, Maniacal. More Pot. The card value is real. I have so many pots of gold in this deck. 
And we did not get any vitamin Z or anything, so it's not very good. We do have a snorkel, which might be good. Again, just doing little bits of damage. This is going to be... Wait. Mogify? Did he use Weed Whack? I must be confusing with a different hero. Even these little 1-1 one -one zombies, though, in this deck, they can, they're they a force. They are a force. There's bonus attack. Yes. So we're going to be able to buff something up and do a bonus attack this turn. So that's 3 plus 3 is 6. We should have, our, have him here. There's some healing. That's the hope. That is the hope. And the joy. And that's lethal. That is... Is that lethal? Uh, healing for two? Well, it's not even gonna... Well, anyway. Uh, four and four. We don't want to rocket this. We'd rather it hit us. This will heal up for four and go down two. We don't want to do this because then it could... Wait. Why did, our, why did that not charge our opponent's block meter there? That was really weird. This can't mess anything up. Just for kicks. How come our opponent didn't... See, I think that was really the last the last block. I think there was... I think our opponent was really out of blocks there. Definitely used Godify. Oh no, had Transmogrify left, but... That's the last one it got. Definitely use Weed Whack and Freeze and Godify, and it, she held one block too. I, I think our opponent was really out of blocks, and it's just an interface. Like it just looks like there's there's a block meter, but we didn't get any charges there. So I'm pretty sure our opponent actually had no more no more blocks there. That was weird. Just a visual gl visual glitch, exactly. So <laughs> the glitch is real. Yeah. Are we going? I'm gonna go a little late. Started late, so Saturday night we'll go a little late. We're eight and zero now. Eight and zero with the zoo deck. <laughs> this is this is a top tier deck actually. It's so funny. It's very low end, very low end, but this is a really legitimate, um, very legitimate zoo deck. I'm so happy there's already zoo decks in this game. Secret agent, the value is real. Agro Walnut? <laughs> no, not doing that ever. It don't make no sense. It's a great starting hands. So, we're going to start off fast again. It's going to be turn one. Turn two. I'll try to secret agent this, get the pot value. Again, Snowdrop freeze. Oh, okay, weed whack. That's fine. So, we have the option of either summoning or secret agenting the 2-1. The a secret agent is actually not that good in this matchup. Oh, we have two now, though. Just because our opponent has all kinds of transmogrifies and godifies and stuff. Just kind of just a waste of a card. Well, it doesn't have transmog or godify yet. So let's do this. That's a 5-4. Again, until turn 5, this is going to be a real force. Uh, force to be reckoned with. Let's do this. I'm going to summoning, and I might just secret agent whatever comes out of the summoning. We'll see what happens. This is going to be very difficult to deal with. Freeze. The desperation freeze. This is already just, you know, feeding our card advantage right now. Let's see what's in the box. This should have gone on heights. Toxic Waste Imp. <laughs> I'm going to keep that. That's good enough to keep on the field. The 2-2. Two -two, once it's deadly, you don't gain that much as much from growing it. We're probably going to right now. Man, Electrician now. I'm gonna go with electrician secret agent. Well, secret agent the electrician probably. So what's your squash? Let's get that value in. Yes, yes. Bum bum bum. So this should proc the block. This would kind of be a waste of a go to fire transmogrify. So if that happens, I'm. Okay with that. Even though it is a five damage swing or a three damage swing now. Come on, give us something good. We're swashbuckler zombie or cuckoo when <laughs> it turns into the same one. It's the it's the old version, the non it's like Transmogrify basically said, You're fired from being a secret agent. No more secret agent for you. You are fired permanently from the burrow. Um Let's just go face. 
Let's go face. Let's just go face. Let's just go face. Go face. Transpired. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you have disappointed us, Snorkel Zombie. We are now taking you out of this mission. Holy cow, that's Jason Bourne. No, it's not Jason Bourne. Here's all these. Whee! Alright, go and face still. The aggression is real. Ah, uh, this is seven damage. I could use some blocks. I could use a... Whatever it's called. Ooh, electrician. That's nice. You know, we could buff self and do a bonus attack here just to take this out if that's, you know, if he destroys this, but... I don't see that happening anytime soon. Yes, he made a play here! Not smart. <laughs> that's guaranteed lethal. The buff value. Get that man out of here. It's nice he covered this up because now the seven damage is guaranteed lethal. If the two damage, if he wouldn't have covered the two, this would have, um, this, you know, he probably would have blocked this, the five and really would have seven damage or whatever and would have had a chance to get back in the game. And just like that, nine wins, zero losses. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Dang, love that. All right, we should be back now. You guys here? Got this going. Alright, we're good? Alright, back.
Let's go for this 10th game here. Yeah, it's working. My computer just really overloaded there. Um, obviously, this will not be an issue with the new rig. <laughs> this is just... Thank you so much for the sub. Who is this? Cool Biz 96 Really appreciate that. Let me read what you wrote here. Oh, here it is. Hey, Fry, since watching you, you've gone from rank 20 to 41 a month. Nice. I'm really happy that the decks are working out for you. The deck value is real. All right, let's look for some good cards against Solar Flare, which Rocket, again, late, late game. It's good, but we're looking for some early game plays. We got a 1, 2, and a 3, and a 4. You know, I'll, I'll keep it. What's going on? Add a lid. Uh, yes, we did get the 9 and 0. Sorry. So, uh, what happened there? We got the, 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 what's it called? The, he fronted lanes 1 and 2, and we had a 5 5 electrician in lane 3, which we just did a bonus attack with from our, like, one of our electricians in lane 2 and just won there. So, we did get the win there. Sorry, you guys didn't see it. <laughs> Technically, it's 10 and 0 because of the level 5 guy, anyway. Your Solar Flare. I think this is a pretty decent matchup. Energy drink, energy drink. I'm actually going to play around the buff shroom. This is kind of better because then he's going to have to guess as opposed to this being kind of like guaranteed to kill this thing. Ooh, no, I can't have Scorch. Wow. Go to lane one. Not a good play. Go to lane one. No. Ugh. Too bad. Um, I'm just going to kite flyer here, though, actually. It's quite good, and this thing will shift over. I could go with two and... Huh. I really could just go with two and one. I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, what if he buffs it? Uh, this is better. Start drawing some cards. We'll do like one and three next turn. Yeah, this is fine. It's good to get the... You know, save the small cards for later turns, sort of. Yes. Uh, I hope as many of these go face. Hitting the Leprechaun Imp would be... Second to worst, yes. Nice. Uh, go face. I don't want to hit one of my minions here, but I guess the kite flyer would be better. Ooh, there's a pot already. All right, that's fine. I just wanted this to survive. <laughs> that's okay. Loudmouth. Man, that Punish Room's annoying. The Punish Room is annoying. Could just loudmouth and pot. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Three damage. That's fine. You know, if this goes face, we have a three-one on the board. If not, <laughs> we just have a huge card advantage here. I'll take it. Three cards. <laughs> the maniacal. All right, we're doing just fine here. Okay, the trade. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna do the vitamin Z's and stuff maybe next turn. I think this is the play. Uh, this should have actually gone one of the sides around Cherry Bomb next turn. Probably over here. It's okay though. Just really want to proc the block before we do anything else. Anything else crazy. So Fry, how do you feel about Le Leprechaun? For Again, for zoo decks, Leprechaun is quite good. And uh, there's, I think, going to be a lot more zoo potential with the Smarty class in general. And then the whole game uh, comes set too. So the Leprechaun is going to go from a decent card to a uh, even better card. Just the fact you have a solid one drop, good stats, and it can, you know, it can draw cards for you. Uh, so it's going to be two and three, I believe. Or six. I obviously can't rely on. Um, is three and three better? Yeah, it is. Then the, uh, oh, it's nice. This will start drawing us more, give us more options, more plays. Stuff like that. Let's do this. We're actually going to be able to sizzle this next turn. We can also, um... Possibly go for the Maniacal. Let's see what happens. Boom. <laughs> Extra card. Wow. This is a great pickup. This is on... T I think we're going to go for... Let's go for the Maniacal. That's worth it. He could Colonel Corn. Man, Colonel Corn would be harsh here. Let's go for it anyway. If not, we'll just rocket the Colonel Corn. 
and uh, and evaporate this. It's the the amount that it'll pay off to be able to maniacal this, and it's kind of exactly kernel corn or whatever. Uh, does he have a berry blast? I wonder if we maniacal this. No, we want to draw the extra cards and stuff. If we all evaporate this, if we're gonna maniacal. I hope he leaves this on the field. Come on. Healing that one. <laughs> we can't even evaporate it now, it's irrelevant. But this does break through and survive. We're, we're, we're low on health, but we're doing quite good here. Nonetheless. What's going on, Adelid? Sizzle, I, I mean evaporate, whatever. I, I call this a lot of things. But it's really evaporate. This card over here. I have a lot of nicknames for it. This is 9 out of 14. Down to 5. We're going to draw 2 cards here. One for hitting the power flower. Acid rain would be good. Drawing a card for hitting face as well. The card draw value is real. Secret agent. Acid rain. Acid rain. Playing around that pine clone. Preventing essentially 3 damage this turn. Which is quite good. Let's get this going. Okay, let's plan this out. Four. Well, five, eight. I think we, we pass on this one. Well, do you know what? This one one here doesn't really matter. I think this is better. And uh, we can vitamin Z, we can rock it. We can do a lot of stuff. And buffing this, just procking the block with this one and buffing this. Do we have a play? Man, I wish you would have healed there. Well, we need this one to survive. I might just secret agent this thing. I don't think it's worth secret agenting at this point. If we block and get something, we could win. Alright, here goes nothing. <laughs> we need block summoning. It's a 50-50, I believe. We didn't get summoning yet, right? We gotta proc that block. We gotta block and, and proc his block. Come on, roll it now. We're all at one. Ah, I hope we don't lose because of that. This is really good in lane one here. We can always rocket things. So we can do this and still rocket. We're in very good shape here. Again, if he gets something that can do enough damage to us, we're just going to rocket it, or can block this for that matter. There's Cornucopia. We should win here. That's no! No! Wait! Yeah, we still win! <laughs> we still win, never mind. <laughs> we got a rocketable target in lane one! The Gravestone Protect is real! For the win! <laughs> yes! Don't be sad, guys! We have rockets in our hand! If he would have gotten something that wasn't rocketable in lane one, we would not have won that game! We wouldn't have had a way through! I mean, uh, we still would have maybe blocked. We, we wouldn't have actually lost there. We could have really come back next turn. But anyway, the 10 and 0 with the Zoo and Morticia tech. That is what I'm talking about. That was a good moment. That was pretty good. I'm going to write that down. The last game was pretty good. Yes. <laughs> yes. And this, again, is an example of why we feel very often that winter melon just does not stack up you know he got an amazing card there but it just dies to rocket just dies to rocket if he would have gotten a 2-2 there he would have you know had a chance of getting back into that game um this is immor tisha zoo 10 and 0 first of all win 10 off of <laughs> weird lucky Cornucopia. Not bad. Okay. <laughs> Let's do some PvP. <laughs> 10 and 0. <laughs>
<laughs> Let's, uh, I have to fix this, so... I actually have to make the... When we go to 10 and 0, we actually have to make the text of the thing here smaller, so it takes me just an extra second to fix up here. Make that text a little smaller. Make it smaller for the stream. And 10 and 0. It's so beautiful! I love being 10 and 0. <laughs> the rig was lethal. No, we had what's it called? We had uh, we just had a, a you know a buffed up an, a, a secret agent, a secret agent, uh, you know loudmouth. Which actually that play secret agenting that the turn before won us ended up winning us the game. So did the stream die again? The stream died. You missed it? Winter Melt would have been better if it had been Dragon Fruit. Yes, definitely. Did the stream glitch? It died for three minutes? No, you missed it. No! Really? What happened was he played Cornucopia. He got a Great Zucchini, <laughs> which almost really messed us up. He got Winter Melon in lane one. And, uh, sorry, I wish I had kept it on the screen for you guys. I didn't realize the thing could cut out. You got Winter Melon in lane one. We rocketed the Winter Melon. Of course, my loudmouth that was already secret agent and was in lane one and was protected from the Great Zucchini because it was in a gravestone. We just rocketed that thing and, and buffed up the loudmouth with our vitamin Z and we, we won. He had five health. It really crashed? No! I don't know why that happened. That was not even my computer, by the way. That was Twitch. That was a hundred percent Twitch. Dang. It says I've been on for two minutes. Wow. That was Twitch. That was not me. My recording did not did not do anything there. Neither did my internet. My internet's been. I didn't drop. I actually haven't dropped a single frame in terms of my internet the whole the whole stream yet. Uh, it's what first one was my computer. That was just Twitch though. Dang. Well, you guys can rewatch it after the stream. Twitch is twitching. We're 10 and 0, though. <laughs> Insanity. That was good. Got him. Stupid Twitch. It's all good. Nice four minute stream. Let's do some PvP. We got 10 and 0 with the Immortition deck. <laughs> Insanity. <laughs> Insanity. Couldn't have asked that to go better. And, uh. When I hook up my, my, my capture card and stuff. That'll actually take a lot of the load off of my computer, uh, possibly even off of Twitch, so I wonder if that'll help. I guess you'll never know then, Johnny. I guess you'll never know. Oh, I forgot about the daily challenge. I was going to do that first. I'll do the daily challenge before PvP. Hold on, sorry guys. It's so hard. Really. Alright. Uh, if you destroy those imposters, they'll just make more imps. Maybe your Mayflower can get Nightcap's very dangerous strategy deck to help it with its needs. Anyway, let's see what happens here. People are saying this is going to be a... Well, they're saying it's a hard Imp Neptuna deck. So this is a regular... Um, oof. Okay. Man, need an answer to Toxic Waste Imp. That's the answer right there. Something tells me in terms of the catch-up of this deck, this is going to be really important. Pass. Do I make it rain already? I think I do. I don't want this getting rolling stoned off the bat on turn one. So, or, or supered from Neptune, actually. So the rain there is actually a good play. Uh, this will be charging our block meter. Give us some good draws here. Come on. Even Weenie Beanie wouldn't be horrible. Laser beam. All right. We're gonna save this. Wow, sour grapes. Save this for the toxic waste imp. This is the key here: is is being able to berry blast the toxic waste imp. So, I'm very fortunate to have started with the with the berry blast. Let's hope our opponent doesn't have one more. And we'll be able to take all these out with just the sour grapes. Um. Do what? We're gonna do this next turn, I believe. Uh, it's gonna be blow. We don't really need to blow one of those. We're gonna blow and probably do the 
The grapes, there's a great zucchini. <laughs> so many berries in this thing. I'm gonna bury this guy. A turkey. Well, I want to keep these, the one health minions on the board. This is fine. If this takes out one of these, it's fine. If it goes face, it's even better. Yes! Face! The face is real! Wow! So, Sour Graves isn't a bad play here. Come on. We're run, rolling all ones, though. Oh, so is he. <laughs> Espresso Fiesta! Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Should I go with the Serpent Strongberry? Should I go with the Sour Grapes? I'm gonna go with the sour, the strongberry. It's kind of worth it if this can, if this can survive. It would be quite nice. Now it's a plant. Too bad. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> okay. Sergeant and strongberry survives. The value is real. So these sour grapes are gonna are gonna really get it done here. The field clear value. Now if we get super, I think I'll use it here. More spore. Um, I think yes. Prevent the two damage here. Yep. This dies anyway. We're gonna just sour grapes here. I mean, not much of a question. I think preventing the two damage there was good. You know, we don't want to be within like I don't know, six damage plank walker or something. Stop playing gravestones though. Fine. Insane value. Die. <laughs> More imps. Bounce a plant. Probably will go after the Sergeant Strongberry. Indeed. Which doesn't matter because we'll just proc our block there. That's actually pretty good. Took three tries. I'm doing pretty well here. There's Octo. Uh, that's pretty significant. Laser Bean is not... Well, you know, the Blueberry can really take that out. Blueberry, Laser Bean. Very blessed. All-Star. Hot. Considering all the options here, Think Jolly Hallie. I actually don't have a time limit here, so I'm going to think about this. I'm so used to having a time limit. This is single player, so there's no time limit. Two and two. Blueberry will give us a three three on the board. We'll take four damage here, and I don't know how we're gonna block this next turn. What are we gonna do next turn though? Jolly Holly will prevent no it's the difference between taking three and taking four. Doesn't make any difference. No, Jolly Holly's for sure not the play here. It's for sure it's for sure blueberry. 
That's for sure the play, because it's just there in taking three and taking four, which it's better to have a three one on the board, and it's a one damage swing. Yeah, that's definitely better. Grapes of Wrath, not necessarily next turn. All right, we're down to one health here. See, now we can jolly holly if we want to. Down to one. The one health is not having one or two. I don't think it's gonna make a di difference ultimately. I wanna be freaking hero. Okay, now we gotta we gotta freeze that, right? Well, wait a second. This will do five damage and four. So it's gotta be, we have to berry blast this one. It's so, I wish we could berry blast face because then Grapes of Wrath would win next turn. Jolly and Berry Bless. I think that's the only play. The other play is, yeah, it's gotta be Jolly Berry Bless. All right. Yeah, this is tough, a tough one. This is does, again, three and two is, three and two is, kills this thing. All right, we're stable in the meantime. See, now Grapes of Wrath actually works here next turn quite well, but I don't know if we're gonna be all the grapes of wrath. No wait, oh he kills this. Oh no wait a second. It's defensive end. Oh, that's out of the question now. Okay, so it's gonna have to be Sergeant Strongberry will actually kill this one. Problem is, if he has Rolling Stone, then he wins here. We're not. We didn't lose yet. We're gonna do these two. The Sergeant Strong. Wait. It's gonna be Sergeant Strongberry and and Sour Grapes. I think we don't really wanna. Ah, we could basically win though if we if we can pull this off. The problem is Rolling Stone will beat us. Let's not let Rolling Stone beat us. We're, we're still doing okay here. Alright, this is fine. Sergeant Strongberry kills the wannabe. Alright. We could have gone with really the Mayflower there. Gravestone? Oh, that's fine. It doesn't have a whole lot of health. Wait. Ooh, that's a problem. That is a problem. Ouch. No, that's a major issue. Cherry bomb. Uh, no, we're not going to win here, actually. Man, Gravestone for the win. Now we lose. No, that's lethal. For one off of Espresso, it doesn't even help here. It's lethal, it's guaranteed. Wait, no wait, if we can, this will have six health, there's no way to, the king doesn't help. The king doesn't help. Wow, he got exactly any other, other pal, I guess super would have, would have really killed us. No, he got super ready. Frenzy? Hmm, Frenzy wouldn't have been that good. Go for grapes? Is there any way this could do with any outs here? I don't think we do. Just get six health. Ah, oh, come on, man. Move the. the. <laughs> Making double lethal happen. <laughs> Leftovers. Dang. Not a good matchup. Not a good matchup. We played that well, too. I don't have any regrets on that. We're just playing against a tough matchup. Commercial incoming. Dang. Yep. That's a hard one. It's a hard one. <laughs> the thing he was BMing me, the AI, yeah, something like that. The BM is real. 
We're getting some BM value. All right, ad incoming. Everyone brace yourself for the ad. We're gonna play some of this freaking game. Because no one cares. Make a farm with oh, a farm value. Let's just make a... Really, the most efficient play here is to make a second tower. Because we're not gonna last long enough in this tutorial to... Uh... I like ads that are a tutorial. No, uh, we don't have to do anything. I'm gonna up upgrade the... No, I'm gonna make a... Well, I'm gonna upgrade the tower instead. That's more fun. Upgrade the tower. Get in the chopper. Or don't get in the chopper. There we go. They they, they end the, the 25 second limit right when the chopper comes out, so it's exciting, so you keep playing. It's part of the tactics. Modern Strike. Uh, something tells me that the game Modern Strike has nothing to do with that. It's more like a Clash of Clans kind of game. That's always like the first ad. They must have paid extra for that to be the first ad. Oh, here we go. Not an easy challenge. The berry blast is so important here. Not a bad hand. Blow, ugh. Let's blow later. Bounce. Ugh. The ad is for Angry Birds too? It probably depends on the country. It might even depend on me. It could be they know I like strategy games. I don't know. They know all kinds of stuff. Phaser 3, please not to 2. Ugh. The luck is not real. Doesn't matter. He'll move that to lane 4. The starting bit is hard. Well, there's a lot of catch up mechanics, like sour grapes and stuff. The ketchup is real. Die, imp. Just keeps getting more imps, though. It's so annoying. Well, <laughs> that's such a great noise. I've never really played with the sound on it before. It goes, Wee! The Wii is real. Give that man a Nintendo Wii. Let's berry blast this. Might as well blow something here. Give this man some pot. That's fine. This is a tough matchup, I think. Come on, where's Sour Grapes? Corn with corn. Yeah. The three Mayflowers are real. Whoopsie! Do I have to rush him down or what? Move a plant now, I should have known. That's okay. It's alright that it's actually preventing the damage here. The prevental is real. Mustache lethal. How are we down to 10 health already? Give us a good block. Thank you. No thank you. Ugh. Was that turn 4? He does the sports value. Okay, gonna need some berries right about now. Actually, Taz, well, not many plays here. The prevention is real. Give that man some. Give that man some prevention. Make sure you use your prevention, everyone. Especially in this freaking deck. Oh yes. Let's see what he's got for us. That's a freaking end. This does uh, 1 plus 1 plus 3. This is not good. Just go face. We'll kernel corn this eventually. The kernel corn could really get, it, get help us here. Uh, let's see what Mayflower picks up. There's leftovers. Dang. Well, at least half his minions are dying here. <laughs> Do you think defensive ends? Second Colonel Corn would be bad. Jack. Jack in the box. Jack in the box. Five and two looks good. Probably Rodeo.
Yep. Man, this is brutal. Yes. Uh, Colonel Corn is just does not kill this stuff. Draw a card. Colonel Corn here, I guess. Bean counter. Draw another card. Cherry bomb. Turkey. Imp. Oh, this is the play. It's pretty good. It's going to be hard for him to deal with a 5-5 five, five here. I mean, Backyard Bounce would win. Watch him just pull out Backyard Bounce for the win here. Or just like Leftovers Frenzy. <laughs> Wait, with no, that's still enough. Pot. Going for the pot. Oh, it's so interesting. Can you use uh, Sneaky him to get pot? Oh, so interesting. Yes! Ooh, we're in good shape here. Frenzy does not help. Stop! No! Not again. Okay, we're going to keep every lane clog. That could still win again. The freaking gravestone. I guess Super would have done even better there. Okay, we're drawing two more cards here. Espresso Fiesta. That's exactly what we need. Uh, yeah, that's Espresso is real. I wish I could express it here. Well, we'll we'll see what happens here. For the save. And that's lethal. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Got it! Got it! 3-3 <laughs> three, three kills it. And the last one will have lethal. Yes! <laughs> yes! He's sniping! He's sniping. Wah! <laughs> Got him. Got him. All right, let's do some PvP. We'll have time for one or two. Oh, that was tough. The snipe is real. We got this from the Mayflower. Espresso Fiesta for the win. I love this card, though. Still, no one actually sponsored it. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, now we're getting challenged. We're getting challenged. Here's girly ideas. I'll use, uh... I'll use uh, Chase the Chicken, because I feel like it. What does the word snipe mean? Snipe means when a streamer is playing, and while you're playing him, you actually get matched up with him during the game, and you have the stream on, so you can see everything in his hand, you can hear him talking about his thought process, what his plans are, and uh, have a very, very unfair advantage that way. What a secret agent deck. I don't even remember what's in this deck, really. Looks fine though. This is called the Agent Chicken Deck. Nice, neat three lines. Love it. There we go. Captain C. Not good at dealing with this card. Shroom for two. Going with shrooms. Oh, this must be Iron Jesus. Come on, Fire Rooster. Come on, Fire Rooster. The top deck madness now. Add more in game friends. Stream actually ran well, well kind of smooth today. I'm gonna set up that capture card. <laughs> yes, he's abiding by the RNG rules. You always have to spare the seedling. Good job, Energy Drink Zombie. Very good at the rules. What is in the box? Sky Shooter? No! What? What? It's just vitamin Z here, I guess. That's not fair. It's not even fair. I, you played it on heights too. Ugh. Well, vitamin Z is usually really good here. What is that? I hope this doesn't end up here now. Wait, how much will this? No, it's exactly off. Really? That is so annoying. Dolphinado me up. <laughs> Bye, Seed Link. No, this is garbage. Hey guys, this is garbage. 
Oh, no, if we would have vitamin Z'd it, we actually could have broken through there. Oh. The. Vitamin Z me up so I can stand on mountains. Buffing this would be good. <laughs> Double seedling is the play. The pressure is definitely applied. Double seedling value. Let's see what's in the box. Gonna go with the bounce here. So if we see any big threats, we'll just bounce them. 7 6. This is a real. This is a two turn clock right now. Very, very difficult to deal with. <laughs> Hammer Shroom. It's annoying. The bounce is real. We can actually vitamin. Well, I'll see what happens there. Petal Morphosis. Give this man a great zucchini. <laughs> well, buddy, for not the save. We'll, buff, we'll bounce the hammer shame. The question is do we galvanize this? If we can get this up to nine, then these two win next turn. Uh, this was five, right? Yeah. This should be guaranteed lethal here. <sighs> Buff bonus attack. Cure to use super. I uh, just got a right player on time to shine here, I guess. This usually wins. This and vitamin Z. Again, he could pull off some weird... He'd have to get really lucky on the shots, though. I mean, vitamin Z, time to shine. Nah, no, not gonna have it. We're gonna win. What's going on, Joyce Jack? Vitamin Z on line dancing zombie is incredible. There's that. So close. Yet, not really that close. Going for the double one value. That's lethal. Uh, just try to, again, my in-game name is Prime Up, so if you guys challenge me, you get to go. <laughs> comb, yeah, this is a comb. Such a great comb. Best comb ever. Got him. Good game. Why so serious? It was, like, that was Chase the Chicken I just played, okay? That was not a very serious deck. It is the Chase the Chicken deck. I'm not going to play RNGs every single time. It's not like, whatever. Here's Victor Carr. Uh, let's use a funny deck. Funny, funny, funny deck. How about just Flower? Everyone loves... Should've bought you flowers. I don't know how that song goes. I'll learn it eventually. Get accused of tryharding. Why so serious? Come on, Vicky. MLG Pro deck? Definitely not. Chase the Chicken is not a top tier deck. Okay, that one got canceled. I'll use uh, the Garg deck. I'm not really ran, I'm just doing whatever I feel like for the PvP. I just do whatever I feel like. I don't really have any good RNGs decks. The only RNGs deck I really, the random deck I have is Professor Paydoin with Chemist in it, which is way better than the deck I was using there. I'll, I'll show you what's in this deck in a second, guys. So anyway, are bad in this matchup. We're looking just for a, a, a what's it called? Just for the the dude. We'll use the teleport early. Looking just for Gargologist. We have the defensive end and the teleport. The Wombo Combo. This is Garg Control. It's probably this one. It's 
Something like that. Uh, got a cycle there. Got a cycle right now. Looking for that Gargologist. No such luck. No play. Maybe we'll just weed spray next turn. Every day I'm smoking weed. We might just paracut when I'm like dead. Grey Buster, that's fine. That is fine. I could have seen really Pear Cub in front of there. And he's playing around Sumo. I wonder if we go for the Weed Sprayer. Every day I'm smoking weed. Every day I'm smoking weed. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, teleporting this on five. Alright, let's go for the weed spray here. If we don't do it now, we're not gonna really get it. I'm gonna try to teleport electrician on five. Then try to do a bonus attack on no. Oh that's bad. Why why did this the snake should have gone to lane two there? I guess we'll teleport electrician here this turn. And we'll try to go defensive end on six and, and on seven. Wow, should have gone here though. That would have been a major problem. We'll get the bonus attack on the defensive end, which is pretty good. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Still here. Wow, should have played that first. in the box rocket actually I should have uh... The bean wins basically. Croc. We're still alive. <sighs> Garlic. Ugh. Well, gotta go with this one now. We're still alive technically, but not for very long. Garlic. Garlic with snake grass. It's a combo. We're not gonna win this game. Rocket, maybe chop something? Salty? This salt is real. <laughs> okay. Wait, uh doesn't matter. No, we lose. That's the way it goes. Uh, clank. Don't matter. No one cares. Oh, fine. Good game. What's going on, Brave Dragon 4? How are you doing? Oh, that's a good game. Killed Rustbolt. Destroyed us. Citron, yeah, it's a snake grass, man. Where did that game really go wrong? It went wrong when we, well, we didn't get Gargologist really. Oh, we just fell freaking behind. What is this? Illy? What is I L Y? What does this stand for? Fry Illy? Kind of unfair. That's all right. It's all good. All right, I'm, I'm done. Let's do this. Oh, I love you. 
I'm not good at stuff. Shut up. <laughs> Thank you. Love you back. Love you more. Let's do this. All right, guys. Uh, I loathe you. Yes, it stands for I loathe you. I should have just looked it up. I tell you guys what I know so you guys can correct me and make me feel stupid instead of actually just going to Google and typing in. Hey, what does that stand for? Don't ask me why. Oh, I'm supposed to do the, uh... <laughs> Thank you. I'm supposed to do the, the outro music. Okay. Makadile made us some music, so let's see. What, 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 what music is this exactly? I have to turn down the volume majorly here. How do you do that? Where's the volume control? How? Why does this... I hate this site because there's no volume control. Too loud. Okay, I'll just turn down the volume in general of the stream, I guess. You're annoying. Turn down the volume to like a third. How do you turn down the volume of this thing, though? Still really loud. Who made this? Makadile? Not really my style. This one's called For Fry? What is this one? I like this one. This one's titled For Fry. Have you made a dank lie? Min7, thank you so much, Min7. Can't have to dance like house. House beats. House beats in the house. You can't hear? Now? Juggernaut dance? Yeah, of course. The juggernaut dance was real. Now everyone's saying louder? Never mind. Tur adjust your volume. I'm keeping it like this, okay? Dead mouse? Tiesto? The technical terms. Alright guys, I will see you later.